Hello, strong people. Week two, day one of off-season work leading into prep for the Arnolds. Got another press day. Going up to a five rep max on incline axle bench. I like axle bench. It's a little bit different. Already did partial, you know, a little bit of my warm up. I really don't know what I'm going to hit on this today. Um, what did I hit last week on military? Three thirty-five for five, or did I fail that? Hmm. I'll have to go back. Pretty sure I can do more than three thirty-five for five on this, but. We'll see. I haven't done incline bench in a long time. It used to be like one of my favorite accessories back when I was in college, and that's I, that's what I did. It was, you know, bench, incline, bench, dumbbells, like every week, multiple times a week. I squatted and deadlifted too, don't worry. Deadlift, I like deadlifting too, of course. I think I get to deadlift tomorrow, actually. But, oh, and you're probably wondering... What's my take on the new Call of Duty since that's what I was playing after I was done working out Friday? I'm a fan. I like it. Now, I could be saying that because no, they, they can't make new maps. All the new maps are bad. So if you can't make good new ones, just throw in the old ones. The ones that were good. The ones that we all know and love. And that's what they did. So that's a win for me. I don't care that I paid a lot of money for it. Because I'm enjoying it. It's the most fun I've had on a game in I don't know how long. So, I'm enjoying it. And I'm also enjoying training. Which is pretty much how it always is. So, that's the plan for tonight. Hit my five rep max. Do my accessories. Go make some dinner. Eat some food. Get a shower. And then, you know, play some video games. But not too late. We still have to rest and recover. Got to get that seven hours of sleep. I say seven because it's usually what I get. Give or take. But that's enough talking. It's chilly. I don't want to cool down too much. So let's get some weight on the bar and get moving. Uh, axle incline's done. Not bad. Worked up to 355. I had to wake up a little bit for that one. Um, 315, I was doing, I was programmed to do 20 pound jumps. So I did 315. That felt really good. Uh, 335 did not feel quite as good. But I, I did not want to do, you know, 335 again. I, in theory, the higher in, the the highest incline, so like a military press, should be your lowest seated press. And as that bench lowers, you know, to a flat bench, that should be your heaviest press. So naturally, because I did three thirty five last week, I, I didn't want to do three thirty five again this week. I know it's a different bar, but still, the power bar versus an axle really isn't all that different. If anything, eh, power bar has a little bit of give. If you time it right, you can get a little bit of a bounce out of the hole. But an axle is also thicker than a bar, so you can get it's slightly less range of motion. So, I don't know. Either way, 355 for five. I'll take that. You know, I'm not sure I've ever hit 355 for five on flat bench. Hmm. Uh, maybe that, that might be just a general bench PR. I don't know. I've hit 405 for three, but I've never, I've never really come close to 405 for three ever again after that. That day was, it was another level. I was feeling great that day when I hit that, but that's not what we're talking about today. So we're going to move on to the next exercise. I believe it's football bar Z press. 
And I don't know if you know what Z press is, but I don't like it. It's like one of my least favorite exercises to do for press. You'll see what it is. Um, I think it's, I don't know if this is true, but I mean, Big Z, Z Press, Zadrunas Savickas. I don't know if he did these. I've never seen, uh, you know, like a video of him doing these, but because they're called Z Press, that makes me think that, you know, Big Z used to do them. I'll probably have to look that up now because I'm curious, but I think it's two sets of 11 and then a set of 11 plus. No idea what kind of weight we'll get up to on this, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right, Z press is done. Thank God. It is not. It's not heavy at all. It's 135 pounds, and obviously you're self stabilizing. No back on a bench, or you know your feet are straight out, so they're not much good. It's all core and then back. So the press is easy, but and my core doesn't really feel it. it it's weird. I feel it in like my upper back mid upper back the most rhomboids i guess you would call it i don't know i never took like anatomy so it's not my specialty but it i could press that weight all day long but because i'm in that position and i don't i press out in front of me a lot i don't press like up and back like over my head you know because i wait to put my head at the last second so i'm pretty much stuck in like an incline bench position and if I do that on this type of press, it um, it doesn't let me do it. I fall back. But that's kind of the, the premise of it in a way. Uh, I don't know. I don't like it. but And I'm usually pretty vocal when I don't like something to my coach. I'll be like, I hate this. And he'll be like, good. Which is fair. That's understand. I, I get it. <laughs> that's a good relationship there if you can't complain about an exercise and then under also understand why your coach tells you to do it then you guys need to work something out go get some marriage counseling that's kind of a funny one i don't even know what i have. I think it's lat pull downs like i have a lot of sets i'm pretty sure i think it's like six sets of lat pull downs so i don't i'll probably i might record one or two sets of that and then after that i don't really have much to entertain. I think it's like sled drags and some planks. So you'll probably see the lat pull downs at least a set or two, and then I'll close it out. Someone commented something on that last video. It was the last video or the video before about like a closing statement. I might use it. We'll see. I think I only got one, so I might actually throw that in there because I kind of liked it and I just appreciate that person using it. So thank you. that's the end of the workout i actually did like every set of my lat pull downs and forgot to record all of them i wouldn't normally record all of them anyway but you know i forgot to record one of them for you guys so i did i, I did another one that's fine it's no big deal i did mess up earlier in the workout i just now realized um i forgot after I hit my five rep max on axle, I'm supposed to, this is supposed, it's for my, my main press work is this the whole way through these six weeks. So I need to remember the next four weeks after today. But once you hit, once I hit that five rep max, I'm supposed to drop down one or two sets and then do a plus set. Five plus. So, you know, drop the weight, increase the reps, reps for one more set. And I forgot to do it. So, whoops. I will not make that mistake again. Um, I think now I have some sled drag, some 
dips, like AMRAP dips, I think. And then some planks. So I'm not going to record any of those. Not too exciting. Um, I did glance at tomorrow's workout. It's a three rep max three inch deficit deadlift. I, I think it was three inch deficit. I don't know if I've ever done like a three inch deficit. I've hardly ever done deficit deadlifts in general, but um, last time I did a deficit deadlift, it was a it was five eighty five. I hit for five. I don't know if that was a three inch deficit or two inch or whatever it was. It doesn't really matter. So I don't. I have no idea what I'm going to hit tomorrow. Hopefully, we're feeling good. Um. I guess I have numbers in mind, but I don't. I don't know. It's one of those movements I don't do very often. Plus, the last two times I deadlifted, I was having that pain in like my upper right tricep, somewhere in there, shoulder blade. I don't know. Somewhere up in there, it was feeling a little funky. So if that feels good tomorrow, then you know the numbers might be a little higher. If they don't feel good, we'll still get something. But I don't know. Just. We'll just have to wait and see tomorrow. But until then, here's the closer that, that uh, comment suggested. It was, I believe it was, get strong, stay strong. I like that because I think you need to stay strong. I mean, like, you know, general life is made easier by being strong. If, you know, picking up, moving stuff, you know, if your bones are stronger, if your joints are stronger, I mean, that's, that sounds like health to me. Obviously, some of us take it to, to the extreme and we do, you know, 850-pound yoke runs and whatever, but I like it. So, until next time, get strong, stay strong. We'll see you guys in the next one.